वेलकम बैक गाइस अ न्यू डे एंड अ न्यू वीडियो एंड ऑफ कोर्स अ न्यू डेवलपमेंट बोर्ड नाउ दिस इज द जैगवा बोर्ड इट वाज लॉन्च ऑन किकस्टार्टर एंड हैड अ वेरी सक्सेसफुल रन कलेक्टिंग फोर्टी थाउजेंड डॉलर्स दैट इज ओवर टेन थाउजेंड डॉलर्स दैन देयर गोल दे वर बैकड अप बाय फाइव हंड्रेड नाइनटी एट बैकर्स एंड दिस बोर्ड कैन नाउ बी परचेज for just over $80 now this board takes the single board development kit to a whole another level and that is because of its specifications under that really large heat sink that you guys can see this board features an x86 processor which is the Intel Atom Z3735 G it is clocked at 1.3 gigahertz max and at 1.8 GHz with turbo boost with quad core and and 2 MB of cache it's more than enough to run a full fledged windows 10 operating system it comes with 1 gig of ddr3 l ram which might seem a bit less but for very light tasks it's more than enough also features an onboard 16 gigs of emmc flash storage which is really nice and this gives you a really fast on board storage and you don't really have to rely upon slow sd cards talking about sd cards it also has a micro sd card uh, slot as well as three usb ports one ethernet uh, port and uh, a full hd uh, hdmi output also there is stereo speaker output and mono mic in along with 4 gpio port and uh, a pair of i squared c ports now with all of that said we will get into the performance and a uh, more much more detailed specs later on uh, in uh, my next few videos but for this video let's just stick to unboxing and the first look at the jaguar board when i first saw this brown box i just thought that this will contain the jaguar board and that would be it but the company behind the jaguar board jaguar electronics has actually really done some work with the packaging and that saying is uh, might not sound much but it actually is because the rose apple pie that i got actually did not have that impressive impressive of a packing and even lacked something as important as a bubble wrap so this company actually had a proper box uh and with labels and everything so you can see right there on your screen right now uh it really had a nice orange box with a few stuff written over it and of course their jaguar board board logo and once you open it up there is the jaguar board sitting right there and i'll keep that aside for now and we'll look at what else we get so this is the jaguar board it's packed we'll open it uh, later on but this is the very first look that you get and as you guys can see we do have a power brick so this is the european power brick it is a standard 2 amp 5 volt usb power brick but they do provide you with a with a usb to a pin type connector converter cable so which is really nice uh, the pin type can actually handle a lot more current uh, flow than the uh standard usb uh, then the standard micro usb cable because it can actually support quite thick wires and that means a lot more current can travel a lot efficiently and they were also kind enough to provide me with uh standoffs so we have do have hex standoffs and they are and we'll talk about them a little bit later on in the video So the Jaguar board was really well packed in uh, this anti-static bag. Now, the first thing I really noticed about the Jaguar board that it didn't try to resemble the Raspberry Pi with the 
standard pin connectors and all of that stuff that most of the boards do this is its own thing and really not taking any hint from the raspberry pi other than just being a single board computer now we cannot really judge jaguar board on copying the raspberry pi for being a single board computer and because that would be really absurd so this is the jaguar board it's a real little bit larger than the raspberry pi i would say but uh, we'll have a in detail hardware compa comparison later on of course there's a big heat sink to cool that uh, intel atom processor it's it's a really desktop grade i won't call it a desktop grade but a really heavy duty processor heavier than arm so it's bound to get a little bit hot but the heat sink is is large enough to uh, keep it cool to keep it at around 50 degrees celsius uh, at nominal load so this is actually it works pretty well so i'll just finish uh, putting up the hex stands uh, standoffs and i will see you in a moment Alright, so I did get uh, on with the hex standoff, so it was really easy to put nothing there. So I'll just plug in uh, the HDMI cable, uh, keyboard and mouse and other peripherals and I will uh, then we'll see it bo booting up for the first time. So let's get over with uh, plugging everything in and then uh, we'll continue with the first boot. Alright, so I have powered up the Jaguar board, uh, it's all connected and I have also uh, attached a live boot, for, a live boot USB pen drive for Ubuntu 14.04. Now the first thing we'll do is actually uh, get into the BIOS, so let's just let that focus in and we'll change the our boot options and uh, set it to boot from the uh, flash drive so once uh, our uh, USB pen drive is set uh, we'll quit and we'll let the uh, Ubuntu boot up and we'll see how that works so we'll just wait for it to boot we just got the uh, selection screen uh, for installing Ubuntu and I'm not really going to install it just a live demo just to show you guys how it works And there we have it, uh, Ubuntu 14.04. This is the normal ISO that you would get. It's not a very specific ISO. It's just a normal PC ISO and it works really well. So let's just have that boot. It's a little bit slow because it's booting off a pen drive and it's a USB 2 pen drive, so it's very slow. Alright guys, so here we are with the Ubuntu desktop booted up and this is how it looks. It looks like a normal PC and that is what is special about this uh, development board and that is what it uh, makes it different from other commonly available development board like the Raspberry Pi, the Orange Pi, uh, Pi N64 and you name it. So this can run normal desktop applications out of the box, uh, no recompilation required, no specific ARM um, stuff required because it's all uh, x86, it's all 64-bit x86 uh, processing. So 
Thank you so much for watching and do subscribe for further updates on this wonderful board. I really like it. It's really different from what we were seeing in the market uh, and it's kind of going to be my regular uh, light computer so I will have my main computer do all the heavy work and this will just be there for browsing stuff uh, browsing the web and doing some light work word document kind of stuff so again thanks a lot guys for watching and I will see you guys next time